yes so welcome back to another video and this video is going to be a little bit different because today's video is going to be a devlog whereas i usually record videos that are either like um showcases or tutorials but it's, today's a devlog and i did kind of start this devlog kind of late because i'm almost halfway finished with the project but i still think uh that is fine but basically uh what this a whole project is about is making a combat AI in Minecraft. Uh, so basically the goal is to um, have an AI and train it inside of Minecraft to, um, yeah, of course, like just, just fight. So hopefully when it's fully trained, it's going to be able to uh, defeat maybe uh, some, some mobs like zombies and skeletons and maybe a very like newbie uh, Minecraft player in actual combat. And I do actually want to try to train it against, for example, another AI that has different stats on its weapon and health and stuff like that, which just sounds very cool. And hopefully if this all goes good, you will at the end or when I'm done with the project, see a full video about this whole entire thing. Uh, but basically uh, how this whole project kind of started out, because I do have to catch y'all up to what I've been <laughs> what I've been doing uh, is basically we started out with a neural network and um, basically we have a few input neurons right here uh, which is line of sight detection distance uh, from target um, and, and of course the AI's health uh, enemy health and attack cooldown on the AI and how much damage the AI does and then as of um, right here we have one hidden layer which has seven uh, neurons and we have one output layer which ha also has uh, seven neurons with options like turn right, turn left, hit, right, uh, or move right, move left, backwards, and forwards. And that is basically the whole uh, neural network I have set up right now. Um, I didn't really do any more hidden layers because it would take like, like above like a, like a thousands of command blocks because it it's just so many commands like. And I don't really want to do all that. I mean, I probably could, but it just takes a long time. There's so many commands. So I'd probably just have to wrap the commands like up and down and up and down and up and down like quite a lot. So I thought this could be enough and might actually produce like an okay result. We'll see at the end, of course. Uh, and of course, uh, as for the plan, uh, I actually am using uh, Relu for um, the hidden layer. And I tried uh, some other cool stuff with this layer. Uh, I was trying Sigmoid, but it was kind of difficult or tricky. So I kind of gave, uh, gave up on that because I didn't feel like it would benefit enough. So I did like another kind of similar uh, solution. Uh, but as of now, uh, I pretty much, uh, pretty much have uh, the whole neural network kind of set up. So technically speaking, the neural, the neural network is done. It has all the connections to the hidden... Uh, or the input, hidden, and output layer. But the only uh, thing the AI doesn't have right now is the actual learning. And how I basically have to do that is I have to make a reward system as well as uh, calculate like um, learning rate, or not calculate learning rate, but like um, give it a learning rate and make it understand like uh, how these um, rewards I give him or the punishments I give the AI and how to act on those and update is uh update its um weights and biases and that is basically what i have left until this uh, whole project is done and hopefully if it all goes well you'll see a video uh, of me posting this but as of now it just has random weights and it does random stuff like this ai i summoned right here just spins until it finds an entity and it stops looking at it like that or if i move far enough away it'll start going into 360s as you can see right there, and moving absolutely, oh, absolutely crazy. Now, if I were to summon a new AI, it'll, my, it'll probably uh, act differently compared to this one. So if I summon uh, an AI and I press this button, and then I press this button, let's see what this AI thinks when it sees me. Oh, it didn't really do anything, okay. If I move far away, oh yeah, if I move far away, it starts going into the abyss. Let me kill that guy right there. And let's summon a new AI, random action. So uh, let's do a new one and see what this uh, actually does. Okay, it doesn't do nothing when I'm yeah, right in its face. If I move far away, yeah. Oh yeah, that is interesting. Oh, oh no, it's, <laughs> yeah. oh, it's gone. Uh, but yeah, that was basically what that one did. It just moved as well. Kind of to the right and forwards at the same time, which is pretty interesting. 
And let's do a new one. This one spins until it... What in the... So it spins when it sees me, but it stops spinning when I'm far enough... What? Wait, this one's weird. I don't know what this one does. When I'm, with, when I'm within this... Ooh. Oh, it moved back there. This one's weird. Yo, this one's really weird. Oh, hold up. Let me TP this armor center on I like over here. All right, let's see what it's doing. So when it sees me, it starts moving back. But if I get too close and it sees me, it just stands still. Oh, wow. That is interesting. There, there just died. Oh, yeah. But that's a pretty interesting AI. And as you can see, it has a lot of different um, interactions and stuff, you can call them. Which is pretty cool, um, in my opinion. So, uh, uh, yeah. I think this is pretty much... Oh, look at this. When I'm far enough away and it's it sees me, it starts moving to the to the left or technically the right, actually. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, first devlog and hopefully this project will work out and I will post a full video on me training the AI and making it fight against uh, mobs and maybe even some uh, players. If I can find some <laughs> some players that are bad that are bad at combat i'll invite them and see if they can win against my ai but anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this video and yeah i'll see y'all next time peace out